Hi you guys! So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the nursing program that I am going to be starting in the summer. It is called, and I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but it's called the Accelerated Bachelors of Science in Nursing. And sometimes it's abbreviated ABSN. Um, so if you see that abbreviation, now you know what it stands for. Basically what this kind of program does is it is formulated or structured um, to be a very obviously accelerated program to complete your bachelor's of science in nursing. So these kind of programs attract maybe a little bit older um, nurse prospective nursing students who already have a bachelor's degree. That's one of the requirements that you must have before entering an accelerated Bachelor's of Science in Nursing degree. So I'm just going to abbreviate it ABSN because it's really long to say and now you guys know what it stands for. So the ABSN, like I just said, it requires a bachelor's, a previous bachelor's degree in a field other than nursing. So I, I think as I mentioned in my last video, have my Bachelor's of Science in Psychology with a concentration in science. Um, but you can have your bachelor's degree in any field. I know people who have entered the science, the ABSN degrees, with a degree, with a previous degree in art, history, um, business, biology. So it doesn't really matter what your degree is in as long as you have your degree um, and you have the prerequisites that come with the ABSN degree. So I graduated in May and decided right away, and actually I knew before I graduated that I was going to go into nursing, um, but it just didn't make sense to just stop my bachelor's degree and go right into school. I wanted to complete that degree. So uh, I think my transition from psychology to nursing is maybe a completely different video, which I can touch on. Um, a couple of things happened to me personally and just an overall change of interest guided me to pursue nursing. So I'll talk about that in another video. Um, however, when I graduated my previous bachelor's degree, I knew that I was going to go to nursing school. So I started looking at programs that, the ABSN programs that were kind of within driving distance from my parents. Um, I totally didn't want to go cross country. I am a homebody, so I love my home, I love my parents' home, and I just really am comfortable here. So. I didn't want to go somewhere where I wouldn't be able to drive home on the weekends, but I did want to get away. Um, that was one of the major requirements for me is wanting to live on my own for a little bit. My next step was looking at the prerequisites for the programs. Now, depending on which programs you're looking at, prerequisites uh, do vary from program to program. However, the majority of the programs that I was looking at required anatomy and physiology 1 and 2, microbiology chemistry, I think they require a statistics, a human growth and development, um, a psychology, which I obviously had a lot of. So I started looking at the prerequisites. So once I graduated in with my bachelor's uh, of science in psychology, I immediately started taking my prerequisites. I actually was taking AMP1 during my final semester of my psychology degree, So, because I just wanted to get like a head start on it. So once I graduated, I was taking summer classes and just trying to complete my prerequisites. Currently, right now, I am completing my last prerequisite, which is chemistry. Oddly enough, the program that I was accepted into and the program that I'm going to be attending does not require chemistry, which it, all the other programs that I looked at required sometimes not only one chemistry, but different levels of chemistry. So I don't know. Uh, why this program doesn't require it, but I am taking it. I think it'll only help me. Um, and if something, God forbid, does happen and I'm not able to complete my degree at my school, so at least I have this chemistry class under my belt. So after looking at my prerequisites that I needed, I just started to look at everything else. Um, some programs require volunteer hours. My program does not. However, I do volunteer at my local hospital, which... Um, I think that's a whole nother video. It's I highly recommend doing it. It just makes you know it makes you look good um, when they're looking through applications. You're gonna stand out. You have volunteer experience, um, and it just it's a great way to get in the hospital and get to see 
in what different capacities healthcare providers work in. Um, it certainly helped me solidify that I do want to go into nursing. So yeah, just look at the admission requirements for the programs. You'll see that a lot of them are kind of the same. Um, some of them might be a little different, but generally all the programs that I looked at require your prerequisites and your uh, previous bachelor's degree completed. So the Accelerated Bachelor's of Science in Nursing program that I'm going to be attending is 13 months. The shortest one that I looked at was 11 months and the longest one that I looked at was I think 23 months. 23 months is way too long for me. Um, kind of why I wanted to go into this accelerated program was to just get it done and just push my way through it. I can do it for 13 months. I will be okay. That's kind of the motivation for the second degree students. We just want to get completed and get working. So um, I chose the 13 month program. It's very accelerated, however, you are essentially getting another bachelor's degree. So these uh, programs are your core nursing classes. I know that my best friend, she went to a traditional four year uh, BSN degree and she had to take the anatomy and physiologies, the chemistries, the microbiologies, along with some of the nursing classes. When you enter an ABSN degree, you're taking nursing classes. That's all you're taking. I think I have to take like a health politics class. However, the core content of your program is nursing classes. So I think it'll be really interesting. <laughs> I am nervous. However, I my one of my really good friends said it best when we were talking. She said they wouldn't have these programs if people didn't succeed. Um, so that kind of is a motivation for me. So I am very hopeful and very excited. I know these programs are just, they're going to be intense. I'm probably not going to have time to do anything other than schoolwork. And I think going into it knowing that, it's good. I uh, ordered some nursing supplies today. I ordered my stethoscope, my blood pressure cuff, and just a l couple of little things. I ordered it on, I placed this order on allheart.com, which is just such a fun website to just look through. Um, you kind of want to buy everything on the website, but you know you can't. So hopefully that gave you just a little bit of a general overview of what the ABSN courses are. They are accelerated. They are your core nursing classes. And so hopefully I will be successful. Um, I was trying to think of different videos that I could do. So I'll talk about how I went from psychology to nursing. I think that'll be a video. And, and I'll talk about how I chose an ABSM program over an LPM program. I think that might be helpful. And yeah, so I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you are about to graduate or thinking about making a career shift, like you have been in the workforce for 20 years, you have a bachelor's degree that you got 20 years ago, um, and you're thinking about going into nursing, look into the ABSM programs, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye!